Which of these gold coins was the best value? Or was it the one I just bought on the dip? The answer may surprise you. Stick around. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We're a channel that likes to buy physical gold and silver. And we like a coin with a good story. If you like those things, please subscribe. We have a new gold coin to unbox. We're going to compare that with some other previous purchases and see which was the best value. So far in 2020, we have the one tenth ounce. The quarter ounce. The full ounce. A wild card coin to compare it to and our new gold unboxing so I was curious as to which one of these is actually the best value we're going to be looking at a straightforward way of determining that before we get started I just want to give recognition to the best value free silver so this came as a recommendation from International Stacker. He alerted me to a giveaway sponsored by this gentleman, Southern Metal. And he does coins, metallurgy, detecting, and currency. And I've seen some of his coin rail hunting, so he's a family-friendly channel doing coin rail hunting. He did a great... 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and we got something really special. So we got something really special. This is my only slabbed coin, and it is a beauty. So it's NGC. It is the shiniest and best Morgan dollar I own. It's an O. Look at those details. 1884O MS63. So mint state. My shiniest and most detailed Morgan. So thank you, Southern Metal, for the nicest Morgan in my collection. But let's dig into the gold. All right, let's dig into the gold. Okay, this is our new guy. 2020. Okay, here we go. This one is in great shape. All right, there's our family of eagles. So here's our 2020. This is one of my favorite size American gold eagles. The Half ounce. The one ounce is just a really major purchase and a half ounce. Gets you close to a similar premium at just a little, at almost half the price. <laughs> so, so all the sizes, 2020, this is a full set. So I think I started with this and then I added this and then I thought, you know what, I really want a quarter ounce. And so even though I typically bought random years in the past because it's just a little more affordable, this year was a strange anomaly where the 2020s were less expensive because it's easier for the dealers to get them straight from the mint than it was for them to get people to sell their existing coins to them. So now I have a full family of 2020s. 
The question I had to myself is let's rank these four and see which was the best value, but let's throw in a wild card. So when I compare these four, when I compare these four gold coins and I throw in the wild card, which is the best value? The answer may surprise you. All right, so we've got some different size coins. We have one tenth ounce, quarter ounce, American Gold Eagles, half ounce, which we just added at the dip, a full ounce coin, and the wild card, which we will reveal. I'll show you the month and date, the spot price at the time, the percentage of the premium of the price over the spot, and then the normalizing factor is price per ounce. That is how we're going to determine gold value. And then at the end, we'll rank them one through five. And like I said before, the answer may surprise you. April 2020, when gold was $1,700, I paid $213 for a one-tenth gold eagle. And that is a 24% premium at the time. Another way to look at it is how much is this for a full ounce if you bought your gold that way. And it's $2,130. In August of 2020, when gold was approaching its all-time high, when it was 1966, I paid $556 for a quarter ounce of gold which is a 13% premium, it's 2224. And then our most recent buy is the half ounce. In September of 2020, I bought on the dip. It started to go down. I paid 1031, which is a 9% premium. And when you look at, all you have to do is double that because it's a half ounce. So what if it was a full ounce? You'd be paying $2,062. And so the full ounce coin I was able to buy in June of 2020. That's when gold was $1,700 and change an ounce. I paid 1834 which at the time was a 6% premium. And so my price per ounce is the same, 1834. Okay, let's take a look at the wild card. $5 commemorative coin, one small step for man. So that's our wild card coin. Let's see how it does compared to the others. 0.24187 ounces. I bought this in January of 2019. So there's the wild card. Gold at the time was $1,200 an ounce. But the U.S. Mint coins bought directly from the Mint in proof finish was $419. So in terms of a percentage premium, that is a big 35% premium. It is the biggest premium there. So when you look at premiums, the one ounce is the best, followed by the half ounce, followed by the quarter, and followed by the one-tenth ounce. And these U.S. Mint commemorative coins, which are almost a quarter of an ounce, have a very sizable premium. It's a collectible coin. They come in BU or proof finishes. I got the proof. But the other thing to notice is that $1,200 an ounce is significantly less than $1,900 in August of 2020. So my price per ounce 
is $1,731. In terms of value, when you look at price per ounce, gold for your buck, the worst performing one was a quarter ounce. And that is because that's the highest spot price I paid. So the spot price impacted my value proposition the most. And then my fourth coin is the one tenth ounce. So the one tenth ounce performed better, higher premium, but I got it at a better price. It's number four. Number three is the half ounce, which is one of my more favorite coins. Low premium, number three. Number two is the full ounce bought in June 2020, but the number one coin value is the high premium collectible Apollo 11 coin with a whopping 35% premium, but because I bought it when spot was lower, boom, it is number one. So who would have guessed that from worst value to best value, quarter ounce, tenth ounce, half ounce, full ounce, close to number one, the best value, the higher premium U.S. Mint collectible coin, because in the end of, in worrying about premiums, the biggest impact was buying early, which in this case equated to buying at a lower spot price. So behold, the best value gold you see here on camera tonight.